Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and today I'm going to show you how you can make animated GIFs in Sketch. So it's really easy. Essentially, we're going to create some artboards, and then using a plugin for Sketch, we're going to be able to convert those artboards into an animated GIF or GIF, depending on uh, the way you like to say it. So let's get going on that right now. So to get this plugin, I'm going to be using the Sketch Toolbox app because uh, really it's the best way to get plugins for Sketch. So what we're going to be looking for is just GIF. If we can search GIF, uh, we will get Generate GIF. Also, in just a fair warning, I will be continuing to pronounce it as GIF rather than GIF for the rest of the video. Just uh, be forewarned if that is a trigger for you or something. So we can come here and click Install. And now it's going to download and add this plugin to Sketch. So just like that, it's already done. We can come to our Sketch app here. And if we select Plugins, you'll notice that we do have Generate GIF here. And it looks like we have a whole bunch of options. We have loop uh, 100 milliseconds, 200 milliseconds, 500 milliseconds, uh, loop with no delay, uh, and then once with no delay, once with uh, 1,000 milliseconds. So we have some options here, right? So let's go ahead and actually try to make something. So what we want to do is get working on creating some artboards. So let's go to insert and let's insert a new artboard or you can just hit A if you'd like. And let's make this uh, something not too huge. Let's just do 200 by 200 pixels. Make sure that is uh, 200 by 200. And now for the naming, we actually have to give these a specific names. So we can have this be frame with a capital F O one, just like that. Now, what we want to do is we want to create another one of these. So if you hold Option, click and drag, it's going to give you the ability to just duplicate this, or you can just simply do Command D. Now we have frame one, and this one needs to be named frame two. So we can come here. If you click on the layer here, um, you can click rename. And if we had the option to rename, you can just say frame zero two. Notice that you can also rename it simply by clicking on the name here and then rename. Let's go ahead and create more of those. I hit Command D and we have one that's actually given us frame three, which is kind of close, but really not what we need. Uh, we need one that is named <laughs> frame zero three. So let's go ahead just like that. Now, if you're wondering if there's a quicker way to do this, there actually is. We can use something called make grid, which is one of the options up here. So if we select our frame three, let's go ahead and click this make grid icon on the top. And we can say we want what row of five columns and that looks like a 10 pixel margin in between them. That's all we really have to do and just click make grid. You'll notice it's actually giving us a whole bunch more of our artboards here and it's displaying them at nice and even 10 pixels apart. So it's much more efficient than sort of clicking and dragging and duplicating. So we can do it this way instead from now on. So let's go ahead and get to renaming these instead of having it be oh, three like this one says, or just three right now, we wanna have this actually be 04. So frame 04. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and name all these one through seven. Okay, so now that I have these frames zero one through zero seven, let's get actually working animating something. So just to, as a simple uh, proof of concept, let's simply create a rectangle here. So I'm gonna hit R, hold shift and just make a square. And this square is going to be right here, just like that. And I'm gonna get rid of the border give this a fill of just this pleasant blue color. Okay, so now that we have our rectangle here, we can animate this rectangle sort of all around. Now, if you're wondering how we can get this same rectangle into frame two, we can select this rectangle here or the contents of frame one, and we do command C. Now, the great part is if we click frame two and click paste, it's going to paste it with the exact same position coordinates. So from here, we can actually move it, we can make it grow just a little bit. So let's actually take this square and make it grow. Okay, I'm gonna copy this 
And now I'm gonna paste it into frame three, which we have here. And now it's going to grow a little bit more. I'm gonna copy it frame four. Now it's going to take up the entire frame. So let's just go ahead and do that. Okay, now that we have it here, I'm gonna copy it once more. Now that we have it pasted into the frame five, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this and start shrinking it down from the left side. Copy it here, paste it into frame six, continue to do that as we just make this smaller. Um, this is going to be probably one of the lamest animations you'll ever see, but it's gonna be obvious what's going on here. So here we have our square. It's gonna go from one corner sort of to the next, and that should be just fine. So we have frames 0, 01 through 0, 07. Now what's great about this is that we can come to plugins, generate GIF, and then we can say we want this to loop over 500 milliseconds. That seems probably fine. And if we select this, it's gonna ask where to save it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save it to my desktop here. And we're just gonna call this square.gif. Okay, now that's on our export complete message comes up. We can come to my desktop. I'm gonna go ahead and click this and I'm gonna open it up in this preview. And as you can see, we have this rather jumpy seven frame animated GIF and it looks like it's animating just fine. Now this animation in particular might certainly benefit from a higher speed. So let's come back to sketch. Also, I'm going to make some of the changes between these maybe a little bit more drastic here. So we have a uh, more of a change. So just like that. Okay, now let's go ahead and generate a, another one. We can simply come to plugins, generate GIF, and let's loop it over 100 milliseconds. Once again, I'm gonna just output it to my desktop. I'm gonna overwrite this square.gif this time. Export, select replace. Okay, now let's take a look at our new masterful work of art. We created this GIF in seven frames. It's absolutely super easy to do. Uh, it couldn't be any easier. And this actually is a, a pretty cool thing. Maybe perhaps you don't know CSS and you wanna show what you had in mind for the animating of a particular UI element, or maybe you have a SVG icon you want to animate, uh, or just any sort of user element you wanna animate. Well, you can do this simply with these artboards, duplicating it and making your animations this way by doing your frames and being able to output an animated GIF at the speed of your choosing. So this was nice and easy. In upcoming videos, we're gonna dive more into various sketch plugins that are available. So check out Generate GIF and get started animating your own GIFs right now with Sketch 3. Thanks for watching. As always, this is Scott Talinsky with Level Up Tutorials. You can reach us on Facebook or Twitter pretty much anywhere. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.